on Monday I just kept iterating. Uh, <laughs> I just added more stuff and I, I made all of the normal levels into big levels. So the camera was scrolling because I, I felt like something wasn't working and maybe this change would finally push it over the edge. And then on Tuesday I, I just kept, you know, working like that. I just made all the levels bigger, I changed all of the reactivity stuff again. And then on Wednesday I took a complete break, like something was definitely wrong, not really working, and so I just spent the whole day um, socializing and like uh, nature and stuff. And then in the evening I had a conversation with Finn, um, who's the designer, we've worked together on Ord, and we've been talking a lot about Mosolina, and we made like the first, the very very first uh, version of it um, together. And he basically told me that I was like, you know, wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> and he's right. Um, the game was ready two months ago. I mean, it wasn't ready to be released, but the structure was there. Everything was working. It was enjoyable. Um, it might not have been the most enjoyable it could ever potentially be, but it was working. And ever since then, I've just been... I've stopped doing playtests. I've stopped like showing videos to friends as much. I've just been kind of like crawling more and more up my own ass. Um, just like completely <laughs> deluding myself and being like, oh, you know, like, oh, it, it could be so great if just these things all fell into place. And um, yeah, that conversation on Wednesday was like, it was very calm. It wasn't like a big dramatic thing. It was just like, ah, oh, yeah. Shit, I fucked up. I wasted two months. Um, and so on Thursday and Friday, I just started to finish the game. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm going back to the original structure. Um, I'm keeping some small details. I'm adding, you know, just like user interface, polishing stuff, like really getting the levels that are there, like really going over them. Like that's the footage that's playing in the background. It's just me like doing tiny adjustments to make a level like really feel cool and solid. Um, everything is single screen again. I'm just really rolling back a lot of changes. Luckily, the code is pretty stable and I can just like disable functions and the structure just works as it did two months ago. That's pretty cool. Um, the interesting thing is that this type of situation where I have all of these huge dreams and I'm just like slowly implementing them and testing them and being not satisfied and then changing them again and you know like like kind of like falling like falling 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 and never really reaching the bottom um, this type of situation that happened with Quamp and Producer um, as well but there was a big difference in those projects because for Quamp and Producer in the middle of development like both of these projects took like like more than a year um, there were months where I didn't work on the game at all, where I was just, you know, like, like producer, I had a small stroke and I had to like take care of my health and with Quamp I, I, I started like a minimum wage job and quit game development for some time and stuff like that. There's these big chunks of time in both of these games where I didn't do, where I didn't do active work on them, where I just thought about them. And then I went back to them and had a kind of like clearer, fresher, more concrete perspective, whereas with Mosolina, I've fixed the, 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 the problem, I fixed that, I, I worked on it consistently, which was a big goal, you know, like generally, to just be able to work consistently, to take weekends, to, you know, just work, treat it like a job, not like a, you know, like, like a calling that is slowly eating me alive. Um, so I did that, and now I got the huge problem of like, just two months of continuous work wasted, kind of, like, um, or without any real results to show for them, um, which is pretty shit. Um, but I have to kind of like force myself to realize that at least I worked consistently. That was something I wanted to do and I did it and that's cool. And also, even with Quamp and Producer, in the end I always had this moment where I was like, you know, like towards the end of development, like, oh shit, all of my dreams are too big. Like with Producer, I read the blog post again that I wrote during that time and it's like, oh yeah, I just have to cut all of that stuff constantly. I'm just saying that for like four weeks. Oh, I have to cut this, I have to cut this, I have to cut this. Um, and with Quamp as well, there was like branching paths and stuff that I had to, that I cut at like very last minute. And after those like radical like reductions, the game production really picked up. And I've been feeling that as well on like Thursday and Friday. I'm like doing stuff. I'm, 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 I'm tackling problems that are real and concrete and like how does the user interface actually look and I have to like put it back there and there's, you know, I'm just working again on stuff that is um, immediate, that is actually there. <laughs> that feels pretty cool. Um, it's, a, it's, it's an interesting thing where it's like, oh, you know, like, like how often can you make the same mistake 
you know, like, 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 did I learn something or did something change? It's like, it feels very weird. Like, like, did I, did I, did I waste those two months? Are they just completely wasted? And kind of, but kind of not. It's like, if I, if I, if I, if I knew exactly what the game was going to be when I started, then why would I need to make it? Um, you know, I could just, I could just imagine it in my head and it would be exactly how it, how it would turn out. That's a strange thing to say, but like, these things are not nice, like it feels bad, it feels really bad, but if something like this cannot happen, it shouldn't happen on this scale, right? I should, like after a week I should be like, oh no, okay, this isn't working, you know, I should, I should do more playtests essentially and like get more outside feedback, but if I can't do something like this at all, I don't know, maybe I'm just defending my, my shitty actions. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is this this has been the week of, of Mosolina, just like a radical like oh shit I fucked up again, but now I can finish it, and that's nice. So let's let's go to the audience questions. Um, thanks for asking questions, by the way. That's pretty nice of you. Um, first, Prime Hunter wants to know if there's going to be a beta testing or something like that. Yes, I will talk about more. I will talk about that more next week. And Chum Crumpla seven zero five nine says that the game reminds them a lot of Cinco Paus. I've heard that so much that I actually played Cinco Paus, finally, um, and yes, uh, kind of, but also not, um, there's not enough time to get into that, but Cinco Paus is pretty cool. Um, the developer asks if, there, asks if there's any lore or narrative in the game, I'm going to add like a bullshit Mario type story, you know, like, oh here's a problem, and then you play the game, and then at the end it's like, here's a solution, it's like, wow, that's a story, people can write like uh, essays and build careers on analyzing that, that's gonna be great. Um, Money and the Loon Dogs asks about different types of level objectives, and that's an extremely good question. And there's two suggestions here in in the comment for like having like a ball that has to enter a zone, and that would activate the tor the, the portal, or like having to get two objects to touch each other. And that's fucking genius. I'm just gonna steal that. That's great. I'm gonna try that out. <laughs> um, thank you very much. <laughs> I, 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 I should have been thinking in this direction for the last two months. Um, and I knew I could experiment with that stuff, but I never did because I felt like I first had to nail the structure and, you know, like like the inside of my ass looked very appealing. Um, so I did that instead of, of doing these obviously uh, cool things. Thank you very much, Moni and the Loon Dogs 2446. Um, popular Music wants to know about the thought process, process behind the game and the to, to, see, to see the first prototype. First prototype is lost, I, I can try to find it next week. Um, the thought process was basically, I was looking at Dishonored 1 and Dishonored 2, um, comparing them and seeing that the trajectory between those two games went in the direction of giving you as many, you know, as many little options to make kind of meaningless changes to the game. Like, it, everything became kind of like a slop and I wanted to push that to the extreme and see what would be interesting there and like like what kind of lies in the space of the the most uh, inconsequential immersive sim or something like that. Um, Luigi's Opa wants to know about uh, pushing the coins out of the level versus touching them, um, which is essentially both of, both of the things open the portal, it's just if you touch them you get points, um, which you can use to feel good about yourself. Um, and there are, the, then, then Luigi's Opa wants to know how many items are planned. Um, 24 or something are in the game right now, but I'm gonna cut a, cut a couple of them probably, just in the interest of keeping things kind of like clean and sharp. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for your questions and continuous interest. Don't forget to buy Mosolina when it comes out, um, so that I have enough money to crawl up my own ass for an even longer time um, with the next game. Thank you very much.